Hello there, and welcome back to Mr. Carey and Mr. Dunn's podcast, brought to you by ManyBadges.com. It's been a while, hasn't it, Mr. Carey? It has, Mr. Dunn, indeed. We're a couple of years older, but here we are with a new version of the software uh, to teach you how to use all, uh, tables in Microsoft Office today. I think the, the last Microsoft podcast we made were, were on Office 2003, weren't they? Yeah. And this is now 2010, 2007. so seven years yes, in, yeah. in advance. And it's Access, not Office, although yeah. it's in Office. But there we go. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, just looking at our little sheet of paper here, we're going to talk about uh, tables in data sheet view today. Yep. That's exciting. So episode one, we're going to look at uh, the table object in databases, but we're only going to concentrate on, on one of the views. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll have a look at this table object up here, uh, members table. There we go. There we go. Right, should we look at the actual uh, construction of the table to start with, just to uh, see what the, uh, the, uh, the different bits are called and, uh, and are related to uh, there? Do we want to change the colour scheme to improve performance? Probably not, I don't know. What are we going to do? Let's just keep the current scheme. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. 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 We can cope with any unexpected thing here, Mr. Yeah. Dunn, can we? Right. Okay, so, uh, um, right, how's the table constructed? What are they and what do they do? Well, let's let's look at this uh, this table we've got uh, the rows and the columns. So one of, one of the first things that you really should know is that each row in in this table is a record of information. Yeah. So you can see that this table down here has eleven records uh, in total. So one of these complete rows, uh, all that information there is one record. Yeah. And then at the top here, these columns, the headings uh, of these columns are field names. So each of these is a field. So a postcode is a field. Surname is a field member ID is a field but when you put them all together in a row that's that's a record yeah that's that's good that's uh, cleared up okay so uh, what about navigating the records so if we want to navigate these records I mean, it's not a great example we could have thousands of records in here couldn't we yeah. uh, but you can use the navigation feature down here um, you've got yeah, that color scheme let's just it's keep the color scheme the same. Same. yeah I think that'd be good we, yeah. Yeah. back um, to the navigation let's go back to the navigation then so we've got um, Next records, so you can mm -hmm. see every time I press that, it navigates one more. Yeah. Um, you've got the uh, last record, yeah, cool. which takes you to the end. How do we get to the first record? And then that one there, back to the first again. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got previous as well. Yeah, you've got previous. And you can also type it in manually, so I could yeah. type in record six, yeah. press enter, and it takes me to record six on the uh, table. Fantastic. That's great. Now, um, what would we do if we wanted to put in a new record? So using the same tool that we've got down here there, there's actually a new record button down there yeah. um, obviously in the test it won't really matter if you press that one either yeah. uh, see this whole part of the ribbon here is dedicated to records yeah. um, and then you've got new up there so that one there or that one there is fine uh -huh. so just press that yeah. and that allows you to fill out a, a row of information there for another record yeah. now what happens if we want to delete a record because it will ask you in uh uh, in a test to delete a record as well. Yep, if we want to delete a record, best way to do that is just select it. You see the mouse changing there to the black arrow. So if we yes. were just to choose um, this one here, Robert Davies, mm. click there to select the record. Um, and then now we can, the easiest way is it under here. Uh, help me out here, Mr. Kerry. Sorry, I'm looking in the wrong just place. Here we go. You delete. probably want to go next to where it says delete. Yeah, that would be, that'll, good, that'll be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. De delete record. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, so it's in there. Delete record, and then it will ask you if you're sure you want to delete it. I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. You probably right click on it as well. I would have thought. Yeah, I think we, we, it's a problem there because there's a there's a relationship attached to the. Uh, we didn't think this one through really. No, did we? no, no, no but no, that's no, what you would do, boys and girls, if you wanted to delete a record. Okay, boys and girls, Mr. Dunn's worked a bit of magic here, and we should be able to delete this record. Yeah, let's try looking at the uh, delete record again. Yeah, so we it. choose that. There yeah. we go. Um, delete record. Yeah. Yes, I'm about to delete a record. Yeah. And it's deleted. And it's, 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 it's vanished. There it's gone. Fantastic. OK, let's move on a bit. I think we've uh, covered deleting records. Yeah. OK, right, we want to find something. I want to find Gareth. How can I find Gareth? Well, if you want to find someone called Gareth, Gareth is a first name, isn't it? Yeah. Um, usually encourage people to sometimes make sure they're in the correct yep. column to start yep. with. So yep. obviously Gareth is a first name, so you, you, know, you can be anywhere in there. Mm. Um, here's the find tool, uh -huh. which is the same for Word and Excel, and yeah, it's, it's a very yeah. popular question, isn't yeah. it? Um, let's have a look at find. Now, if you see, it's going to look in yep. the current field, which was yep. first name, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, so let's have a look for Gareth. Gareth, find next. 
And you can see the, uh, the record has gone to the next person called Gareth. That's right. So it doesn't alter the view of the table. It just highlights uh, now to the next one. And, and if there was another Gareth, I don't know if there is. Uh, you just clean fine next. No, nope, there's no. But there's only one Gareth. Useful if you've got a rec uh, say ten thousand records in there and you didn't yeah. want to scroll down yeah, to find yeah, it. Good, yeah, excellent. Okay, um, right. Let's move on then um, to sorting our data. So we've got there like if looking at that. Uh, we've got surname field there, which quite often yep. nice if it was alpha in, in alphabetical order. It's alphabetical uh, order. Yeah. If, we, if we click on surname field yeah. there, for, it's quite easy with with words, isn't it? You've got your A to Z yeah. ascending order or Z to A, so that's quite clear what it will do to the word. So yeah. if we press ascending order there. We're now in alphabetical order right. of, of surname. Okay, um, yeah. With regards to numbers, mm -hmm. if we if we were to sort by say member ID here, A to Z ascending will will get smaller. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll get, we'll, sorry, we'll get bigger, bigger as, yeah, as so it goes so, down. So, so one will be A yep. and going up to Z, uh, a higher number. And descending means come down in yeah. size, so it will start big and, yeah. and end small. Yeah. So if we have a look at descending yeah. there, okay. see it gives you the biggest there number at the yeah. top and gets, descends down. That's just show the boys and girls ascending. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Have we got any dates in there? Uh, we have got some date of birth. I'll tell you what we could do before we do the date of yeah. birth there. Uh, you see... We've got the hash signs and the date of birth there, Mr. Dunn. What yeah. does that mean? The hash signs, similar to Excel, um, it means that the, the data in there doesn't fit correctly. Yeah. Um, so a, a good way of, um, of, of moving this out will be to double-click the line here. Yeah. Same as in Excel as well. Mm -hmm. and that, yeah, yeah, we want to keep the old color scheme. scheme yeah. And there we go. So let's have a look. Double-click, and it just yeah. jumps out like that. Another way um, of doing that, which some people like, yeah. is you do right-click yeah. and... Um, field width mm. and then you can do a best fit yeah, down best here fit, yeah. and the best and, fit and quite often i think there's an exam question yes. where it asks you to do a right click and not double click yeah and so you need to right click on it and make sure best that fit best will make it fit there. correctly yeah. so right. if we do, we do it in a sort then so yeah okay um an ascending sort um let's have a look at that one yeah. first that's given as the earliest, earliest date, date down to the, the latest, latest date. date and then the other way around obviously will be the other way around yeah yeah brilliant okay so um right let's get on to um Certainly my favourite part of this, which is filtering. Filtering. All right, let's have a look at filtering. Um, here's your filter yep. option up here. The one we like to use is filter by selection, That's isn't right. it? So if we were to do something like, um, if we highlight the word Matthew mm -hmm. and then do a filter by selection here, yeah. uh, equals Matthew, yeah. that will filter out all the people called Matthew. So let's see how many there are. There we go. As you see, there's two records. And you can tell it's filtered because it yeah. says filtered at the bottom. And turning the filter off, two ways of doing that. Turn it off there or turn it off there. Yeah. And it takes okay. you back to your question. Right. Okay, great. And actually, if we just look at that, um, just look at the filter by selection drop down again, there's some other options on there as well. And then this is a bit of a new thing, isn't it, with yeah. this type? If we go back to Access 2003, it didn't really do this, but we could choose to not equal Daniel. Or could just contains Daniel, uh, or does not contain Daniel. Okay, right. Okay, uh, so we. Uh, I think all we've got left in this bit now is to swap the columns around, which you can do in Data Sheet View. Yep. Sometimes you might want to change the order of your of your fields. For example, you might want date of birth at the end here. It's just a simple click to select it, yeah. and then click to drag it, and you can see the uh, the, the line there, yeah. allowing you to move it, and we can put it right to the end, let go, yeah. and you, you've managed them. So you can swap. Yeah. The important thing to realise with that is that you uh, you click to select first and you have to click and hold again. That's correct. If you just click once, it'll just highlight all the fields, uh, so you need to make sure you get that right. Well, I think we've uh, we've covered that, Mr Dunn, haven't we? Yeah, so that's uh, um, this episode on tables in data sheet view. Coming soon, the next exciting episode, Mr Dunn, Mr Carey's Access Podcast, sponsored by ManyBadges.com.